Welcome to Fairy the Greyhound. In today's video, I'm going to talk about greyhounds and other dogs. As many people believe that greyhounds are aggressive and will chase small dogs. Fairy did used to race, you can see her here. So she does have a high prey drive. Many greyhounds have a high prey drive, but are not aggressive dogs towards other dogs. When I first adopted Fairy, she had to wear a muzzle for two weeks until I got used to her and, and to know her personality and if she was safe. During this time, people would cross the road to avoid us on walks or pick up their small dogs when they saw her. Greyhounds are naturally gentle dogs. Fairy is very calm, kind and friendly. But as sighthounds are bred to chase, they usually have a built-in desire to chase moving objects. Many greyhounds, though, are excellent around small dogs and even live with cats. Fairy is brilliant with dogs of any size or breed. She's never tried to chase a small dog, even when off lead on the beach or at dog agility classes. People tend to think that greyhounds must be aggressive as they wear muzzles. This is untrue. It's usually just a precautionary measure due to their natural chase instincts. As you can see, Fairy, when walking in the woods, is on the lookout, ears pricked, alert, looking for squirrels. Fairy will chase Squirrels, rabbits, cats, ducks, moorhens, swans, but never small dogs. Fairy has never shown any interest in chasing small dogs. I can't say this is true for every greyhound, but many greyhounds are very good with small dogs, big dogs, dogs of any size, and cats. Many greyhounds are able to live with cats, and I have seen greyhounds cuddling up with cats on the sofa. A muzzle does not necessarily mean that the dog is aggressive or a threat to you or other animals. I've had Fairy for a year and a half now, and in that time she has mixed with many different dogs, different breeds, different sizes, different ages. She has walked with my friends, small dogs. She sees dogs regularly at her dog agility classes, and she is always very well mannered, very calm and very gentle with the dogs that she meets. Fairy does dog agility classes every Saturday where she mixes with a variety of different ages of uh, Labradors, la older Labrador and a Labrador puppy. She mixes with um, cockapoos, young and old cockapoos and she's always very calm and well behaved around them. Before the class starts we let them off lead in the enclosed area and they all run around together and have a play and they always um, get on really well together. None of them can keep up with Fairy when she runs and all she's interested in doing is having a good old run. She tends to ignore the other dogs when she's off the lead and just does her own thing. The only time Fairy growls is when she's excited. So this is a pre-running excited growl that you just heard her doing. Never an aggressive growl towards other dogs. This is her with a very young, boisterous Labrador puppy who does jump up, jumps up Fairy, jumps all over her and Fairy just stands there. She, she's not bothered at all. She's very tolerant of other dogs. But if a, another dog does show aggression and growl or bark at her, she will bark back. She does stand up for herself, but she would never attack another dog. So here's some videos of Fairy at Dog Agility with her doggy friends. And you can see she really enjoys the social side of it, likes to be around other dogs. They all know each other now. But any dog new that enters the class, Fairy is very kind, um, calm and friendly towards them. Fairy is happy to share her toys. That's her yellow ball. Other dogs come and pick her ball up and she doesn't mind. She doesn't um, resource guard items. Um, she's quite happy to share.
I like to let Fairy off lead at the beach. Um, and when she sees other, other dogs on the beach, she just carries on past them. She never approaches dogs when she's off the lead. However, some dogs do approach her, as you can see here. Other dogs run over to her and she just stands there um, and greets them in a friendly way. And here is another example of her when she was burying her toy in a hole she had dug at the beach. And a cockapoo, I think, comes bounding over to her. And Fairy just ignores it, really. She just stands there, lets it do what it's doing. It even barks at her. And she just stays there, very calm, very relaxed. Fairy has been off lead with other greyhounds where we hoped she would run and race, but she really wasn't that bothered. Um, she just does her own thing. She's been to doggy daycare with up to about 15, 20 dogs all loose in a big field together. And here you can see her playing, socialising with the other dogs. She got on really well with every breed and size of dog at doggy daycare. There were no issues with her showing any aggression to any of the dogs. She played with them, she played chase, ran around with them, and she was good as gold. Fairy made another greyhound friend at doggy daycare and liked to hang out with her. Her best friend is Billy, another blue greyhound, who she has been on many walks with. And Fairy has also been to dog shows with our friend's puppy here, a Thai Ridgeback puppy. Um, and as you can see, Fairy's not really bothered. She's just laying down sleeping. So I hope you can see from this video that many greyhounds are very calm, friendly dogs, and they don't chase and attack small dogs. Greyhounds make amazing pets. Thank you for watching Fairy the Greyhound. Hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to click subscribe and like and comment on our videos.